Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to the fresh edition of Tectonics, where we discuss technology news from around the world. I am your host Shubham Rajput, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and start this edition with the first news that is coming from Huawei. Huawei has finally decided to launch its own operating system, which is called Harmony OS. If you take both of these words together, it's called harmonious. Well, incredible naming convention after I have been seeing weird naming convention from companies like Samsung where they are naming their smart watches like Samsung Galaxy Active Watch 2. I mean, anyways, coming back to harmonious. So, after many different conflicting reports whether they are going to launch their operating system or not, Huawei has finally decided and unveiled its new operating system. The new operating system as pointed out by Richard Yu who is the CEO of consumer division at Huawei said the operating system will be much more integrated, will be much more robust and secure than Android. Although all the devices won't be using Harmony operating systems as of now, especially smartphones, the Harmony operating systems after a couple of months will be available for various smart devices such as smart watches, smart TV and in vehicle infotainment systems only. Although the modularity of the operating system allow it to be implemented and allow for seamless transmission between various types of files between the devices that hold the same operating system this operating system won't be immediately accessible to smartphones because it is of course under development although in the beginning the company will continue to use android but as time passes they will sequentially include harmony operating system into the devices huawei is going to manufacture now, if you don't already know, this event is significant because this event is being seen as Huawei's first step to reduce its dependency on American firms. This event is also significant because this event can be seen as the answer by Huawei to United States where a list was made by the United States government in which certain companies in which Huawei mainly and certain other, there were I think 60 affiliates whose name was there in the end list who were restricted from doing business with Huawei so this event was significant because it is seen as a reply to that event well let's see how things progress and how the networking giant introduces its harmonious operating system into various devices now let's move over on to our second news and it seems Ryzen is kicking the ball out of the park one after the other when it comes to CPU manufacturing. Well, in the release of 7 nanometer Ryzen desktop processors, we saw that the performance that was provided by Ryzen actually kicked the competition, which is Intel, out of the park in various different aspects in which AMD was previously lagging, such as single thread performance, multi thread performance, power efficiency, and stuff like that. After such an incredible launch, everyone was asking the question whether AMD will be able to extrapolate this su success over onto mobile CPUs and server grade CPUs. Well, with the launch of Epic processors which are aimed at server grade computing, it seems like AMD is answering those questions very beautifully and very holistically it seems. Now, what happens with the new processors that are coming up? Well, I still have to look at the various performance parameters that are offered by the chips right now. But what I can see from the various news that I'm seeing, the launch process is incredibly successful. And we are in the areas where you are going to see incredible performance is going to be again core counts, multi-thread performance, single thread performance, and overall thermal and heat efficiency. So well done AMD, you are again getting the ball out of the park and we think you should do it again and again because when this kind of greenery is there in the PC market, every PC enthusiast has a smile on its face. <laughs> in the next news, we have Samsung and oh my god, I am going to get confused in the naming convention once again. 
Well, there was an event by Samsung that was held yesterday in which a, a one hour session was given to various different kinds of announcement that yeah, Samsung had to make. I thought things were a little rushed but that's just my perception but the one news that stood out in the whole session was the introduction of an incredible feature called Samsung Play Galaxy Link. I hope I pronounced with that right and I didn't jumble up some words but yes Samsung Play Galaxy Link is a feature which will help you stream PC games directly over onto your Galaxy Note 10. How about that? Are you surprised? Well, I am not because the rivals of Samsung when it comes to hardware that is Apple and Google have already stepped up their game by introducing Google Stadia and Apple Arcade. So it was only a matter of time when Samsung also made its feet wet with the game streaming applications or the features such as Samsung Play Galaxy Link. So let's see what this step is going to bring ahead in the future and how successful this feature is if some of you get a samsung galaxy note 10 and if you are able to do this with your samsung galaxy note 10 it would make mean the world to me to share your experience down into the comment section below and how can any episode of tectonics be complete without the news from amazon Amazon has finally decided to automate its delivery process or upgrade its delivery process to the next level by introducing what is called Amazon Scout Robots. These robots will now be delivering your shipments. The testing of these robots is currently taking place in Washington where various different parameters of these robots are being tested. Now the company has decided to expand its testing to California as well although the process won't be completely autonomous at this point there will be a person from amazon an employee from amazon who will be seeing the complete delivery process and making reports as to how these robots are performing these reports i feel will then be interlinked with the ai to completely automate and improve the performance of these scout robots but as of now if the process is not completely automated and the step towards automation is taking a new direction let's see how things move ahead with this so as is the case with amd and desktop cpu it seems so is the case with samsung and ssd it seems samsung is kicking the ssd game out of the park and this time it has done by introducing an a PCIe 4.0 SSD and the company claims that this SSD is industry's fastest SSD. To just have an idea as to how fast this SSD is, the SSD is capable of reading data sequentially at a speed of 8 GB per second. As of now, the SSD will be available in both the form factors which is U.2 and Triple HL but what will be the other parameters will be clear when we have a review unit for ourselves and then we can actually see how fast this device is. But first introducing a 100 layer V9 and then bringing a PCIe 4.0 SSD. Incredible work Samsung, incredible work. My system also features a Samsung 860 EVO SSD and I couldn't be much happier. So well done. And the next news is from HP where HP representatives are saying that a study found that more and more people are orienting themselves towards consumer hardware that allow them to be connected with each other and uses a lot of apps. Basing their decision on this reasoning, they have decided to launch HP Chromebook X360. HP Chromebook X360 will be featuring Google Chrome operating system and will also feature Intel's 8th generation processors. Using this understanding as to how consumer grade hardware is being now consumed by people, they think that the representation of a lightweight 14 inch laptops that does any task that you want to do in a limited connected sense is going to be very very fruitful for the market. Let's see how things work out with HP X360 Chromebook. If you are interested in getting a lightweight computer for yourselves, go ahead and comment that down in the comment section below as to how you want to use it and what is your reason to go ahead and buy it. 
Talking about computers, people who are into computers, especially for gaming, are going to be very happy because Xiaomi has just announced it is going to release a 34 inch QHD plus gaming monitor in November this year. The monitor will be capable of gaming at 144Hz so people who are into competitive gaming and are looking for a monitor which is in their budget as well are going to be very happy when this monitor gets released. This is not the first step into gaming that Xiaomi has taken. Xiaomi has also released gaming laptops that featured 16GB of RAM and featured Intel's 9th generation processors are already introduced by Xiaomi in 2019 and it seems this is its second step into the whole PC gaming situation. If you are looking for a monitor, I would suggest you to wait a little bit, feel the air as to how this monitor is going to be and if this is something that you think will benefit you in some way, I think it would be wise to just wait a little bit and see how the monitor game comes out to be from Xiaomi. Now tell me honestly, how many of you guys have already bought OnePlus 7 Pro? Because immediately after OnePlus 7 Pro was released, there were some certain leaks in the wind that were indicating that OnePlus 7 T Pro may also come out eventually at the by the end of this year. And it seems the leaks are true because there are other images that are being spotted of OnePlus 7 T Pro in which there are images of not only the front side of the camera but also the rear side. But if you have already bought OnePlus 7 Pro, I don't want you guys to be worrying too much because it doesn't seem that the OnePlus 7 T Pro will be introducing features which will be far ahead than what you already have. So it's just a news which you guys can have and see whether what are the kinds of various different uh, upgradations that are going to happen in various different smartphones that are coming ahead into the future but as of now the highlights still remain OnePlus 7 Pro and phones like Samsung Galaxy Note 10. So with this news it is the end of this edition of Tectonics. I hope you like whatever I presented in front of you and if you have any comments, any suggestions regarding various news that you have just seen in front of you it will mean the world to me if you just go ahead and share your opinions about these news and how you are going to use various different devices that are coming into the future and what are you looking forward to in these devices when it comes to your productivity and your daily tasks with that said guys thank you so much for watching this video i will Oh, I will see you again very very soon in the next edition of Tectonics. Till then, Namaskar.